Hi there, Mark here from ADSR. We're going to do another tutorial on Yuhi Zebra now. Um, what I thought I'd show you was a kind of basic acid type sound. So we're just going to initialize Zebra. This could maybe be used as an acid sound template, although it's a great little sound on its own. And we're, what I've done is I've got a little arpeggiated type sound here. And it's very, very basic this. So we've got That's a bit high, I'm going to bring that down. Okay, so we've just got a basic oscillator, we're not going to do anything else to it. We're going to add a filter, and we're going to bring the cutoff down, and we'll probably use, let's use it low pass all round. Keep the cutoff there, but bring the resonance up. I'll just leave it there for the time being so I can hear what's going on. Okay, and we're going to modulate the cutoff with envelope 2. Now envelope 2, envelope 2, envelope 2. This is where a lot of the importance comes. Now I'm going to put it onto the V slope to make it relatively quick, but you can mess around with these settings again. So let's have a listen. That's acid already, right? Doesn't take much. So we've got... Oh, sorry, that's envelope one. That's envelope two that should be on V-slope. I kind of like it there. Okay, you can hear the clicking coming in there, um, so you just increase the release a little bit. Okay, that sounds not too bad. Now we can mess around with these as well to get a a better acid type sound. Now put the key follow right up. Gives it that real high frequency. Bring the cutoff down and because the resonance is still high, when you bring the cutoff down it really starts to get acidic. Okay, so you would just mess around with these settings till you find something that you really like. I'm feeling that already. So again, just keep messing around. Okay, rock and roll. Now, you could modulate the resonance if you like, but I prefer not to in this instance. Okay, but what I am going to do is modulate the cutoff with another LFO, a global LFO in fact, um, and you'll find out why in a moment. I want it to ramp over a certain amount of bars, so we go to the matrix section. Target is filter, cut off, and we're going to use a global LFO. And we're going to change this to 8 to 1, and maybe triangle. Let's have a listen. You can hear it ramping up yet yeah, over the 8 bars. So as you can 
see, I'm just messing around with these settings to try and get something I really, really like. Okay, and the final part of this is effects, of course. So let's stick a delay in there. And of course, uh, if you've been following my videos, you know I like dotted delays. Uh, in this case, we'll bring that down and turn the feedback up a bit. You can hear the rhythm coming in because of the dotted delays there. Okay, and let's add some EQ. In fact, let's before we do that, let's come up here and add a shaper, just to add some more dimension to the sound. your ears if you're doing this. I like that. Okay, and the delay. EQ. So EQ, again, taste. Um, what else could be used? You could add a reverb, perhaps, on the send. Sounds okay. I, of course, it's up to you, yeah? You just mess around. But this is just a template because you can do all kinds of stuff from this. So, what have we got? That sounds okay. What does it sound like we're a kicking bass next to it? So there you go, a simple, a simple TB303 type sound. Now, as I said, you can just go in here and you can manipulate all of this to your heart's content to change stuff, different amounts of delays. You can change. You can have the envelope really modulating the cutoff and messing around with the envelope settings or of course you still have the matrix here so so go ahead and just go mad with it but I would save that as a a TB303 template and then you can build on that at a later date, add in all kinds of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you learned something, I'll see you in the next video.